So hi everyone, welcome back to data science in your pocket and we have a big release coming from Tencent that is they have released Hunyon World 1.0 model that can generate 3D interactive worlds with given a prompt and a scene. Yes, you heard it right and as you can see on my screen, it can even generate a 360 panorama view just with a prompt. I think AI is just escalating fast now and things are looking dangerously good and quite excited to try out the model as you can see the model is open sourced also by the way and you can test out the model for free on hugging face and even on tencent's official website so let's get started let's explore a few things you can see Upload guidelines are there. This is the official release they have given on the website itself. They have also open sourced the weights as mentioned. So you can change out things here. Here is a prompt that you can enter. And here you can see that this is the 3D world model, the new one that they have released. If I click here, you can generate a 360 panorama view. And they have given multiple examples also as you can see. You just upload an image or give a text prompt, whatever you wish to do. And see this one. You can even move in the world. This is just amazing. I what to say now. I think AI is upgrading way faster than we imagine. We can also generate a roaming scene also. So here you can interact with the environment like a game. I think Tencent has taken things to just another level. And see, this is one of the examples that a team has given. So you can move as you can see on my screen. It is giving you some heads up key. You need to move like this. Pretty interesting to say. Let's try out a few more examples in this moving arena. And then we will jump on to the technical details of the model and how to use it from hugging face. This model is free to use, by the way. So if you have enough GPU, I think you are in for a treat. Because this is one of its first type of model which can generate 3D world and is open sourced also. Previously, a few models came into the picture, but I never saw them coming open source completely. Here you can see this is a view on the beach, on the sea. The waves are not moving as I can see, so that's one glitch, but still it looks pretty interesting. Let me try out some more examples. The 360 panorama view just blew my mind. As you saw, we'll be trying out a few more examples from that as well. On roaming scenes, it's which is very important in gaming. See, I'm able to move here a little bit. It's, it's sort of a Lego game, I can assume. Now let's jump back to the panorama view thing. I want to see how the volcano erupts. And see this one. This is just amazing. This is generated completely by AI. I can't believe it. Few more examples that the team has given so that you can try out the model. Even they have given you some a few credits so that you can just try out with your prompts as well. Right now, as you can see, the prompt is in Chinese because see, Tencent is Chinese, but you can always provide a prompt in English also. And see this one. Very beautiful, I would say. I think such an exciting time to be alive, very honestly. And crazy, yeah? crazy dude. So I think we have tested out now. This is the official release on Hugging Face, as you can see, Tencent Hunyon World 1 model. They haven't given much information here, but the model is open source. So before we end up this, let's talk a little about the technical details of the model. Hunyon World 1.0, the first open source model to generate interactive 3D worlds. So basically, there was a problem with the previous models that have released. One is in generating worlds. Realistic visuals lacks true 3D structure. They did look like AI generated, but right now the examples that you saw, the quality has improved massively. Limited camera movement and very expensive to render in time. 
talking about the 3d based methods they are also very high memory usage and insufficient 3 data was present now comes union world 1.0 it is a little complex to understand the architecture i'm trying to summarize it for you it generates panorama as scene proxies 360 representation of the scene serving as foundation for depth estimation and 3d construction panorama D dit so diffusion transformer you might have heard of it is an upgraded version of it that is panorama dit that they are mentioning semantic layering segmentation into discrete layers foreground objects background and sky for better control layer depth estimation depth maps predicted for each layer and 3d object construction the objects present are separate from the environment and world extension so they are using a new model called as voyager video diffusion internally to get to it so here it works it's a little complex i'm not jumping much into the detail if you are interested you can go through else skip this as well make a panorama turn text prompts or images into a full 360 panorama using panorama dit the new architecture they have break it into layers split panorama into sky background foreground object so once you have generated the panorama image they are uh, segmenting it into the different items present in it background foreground and objects figuring out the depth calculating the depth map for each layer make it efficient expand the world generate more views as you explore using the voyager video diffuser and then build 3d meshes this is a little complex so i'm not jumping much into details you can read the paper the technical report is also available talking about the performance it has outperformed everyone existing model and right now looks to be the best model for 3d world generation as you can see on the screen some of the metrics you might not be knowing like brisk and neek clip t q align but i think for now understand that it's the best model real world applications many i think especially virtual reality that vr thing will take a big hit because now you can have fully 360 environments without doing anything right simulations can be there game development and interactive applications open to all as mentioned the weights are present on github hugging face and the technical report is also available and you can try out the model for free as i just showed you in the beginning so what are you waiting for union world 1.0 looks to be a damn good model highly underrated people are not talking about it but you should know about it for sure thank you so much